Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Mercury sextile or trying one's natal sun. Now, uh, this transit may manifest in communications, learning, uh, siblings, uh, short journeys. These things may be in harmony with your vitality and energy. It can be a time where you have the, the energy really to actually do activities with siblings, even cousins and neighbors. Um, it may be, you know, going on short journeys, um, you know, taking a drive just to the, you know, the adjacent town or what have you. Um, sun is also creative energy. So it can be a time where you have more of the ability to express creative energy if the natal sun say it's an Aquarius, it could be doing something through you know, computer, uh, graphic art, um, design. Um, if it's in Scorpio, it might be something connected with the occult, which can include astrology. It might be, or if you're working, or say somebody has the natal sun in Scorpio and they're working in forensics, they might be able to be very creative in the reconstruction of a crime scene, as another example. Now, uh, the thing is, it's also a time to where um, when you have this transit, it's about uh, being able to focus well on learning. Remember, when you have the transit of Mercury making a sex doll or trying to natal sun, it is a positive aspect. It is auspicious. There's a good relationship that is forming between uh, the two planets. And it can be a time where you could just have you know, that right amount of focus in order to learn things. Now, uh, some of you may wonder, well, how does this uh, transit uh, differ? How does it deviate from the transit of Mercury making a conjunction to the Sun? Well, that those those aspects are similar, but the thing is, when you have the Mercury, let's say if it's making uh, the transit making a conjunction to the Sun, it's more intensified, and it's it's a more of a neutral aspect, and you could have a lot of concentration in learning at that point but the problem is it could when you have so much of a focus on something it could be borderline obsessive to the exclusion of other things and this is more about just putting the right amount of focus I would say on learning and also it's about your know, learning you know, about the, your, your physical body to some degree too because you remember the Sun has a connection with the physical body. Yes, the ascendant is what dominates the appearance in the physical body, but the sun can play a role as well. In most cases, of course, you're going to have a different sun sign than the ascendant, like 11 out of 12 cases. So anyway, now another thing too, this is more of a time, I would say, you could put more of your attention, you know, on, again, your focus on, on your learning if you have, you know, the Transit Mercury is an Aquarius. It could be learning something with you know, astrology, computers, electronics, new technology, um, as some examples, meteorology, or I would say the transit uh, Mercury is in Capricorn is another example. It could be something connected with government, politics, masonry, carpentry, uh, business, uh, even information technology is some other examples. And you could put more of your attention, I would say, as well, on siblings and cousins and neighbors. If these people have any needs that need to be met and they're requesting your attention for something, you could give them more of an undivided attention at this time and be willing to do things uh, for them if there's been with, a, with little or no distraction or diversion at this time. The sun is also about shining, you know, or how we, you know, how we may shine. If you have, like me, I have my natal sun, my zodiac sun, Cancer. And, but me, I'm just, this I could be shining in introverted activities. If I actually was physically able to do you know, home renovation, remodeling, or go out and sell real estate, this would, that could be some other examples. And when you have, uh, you know, the transit of, of Mercury again, that making you know, sextile or trines of the natal sun, this could be about learning. Uh, better opportunity to learn about the things that you, you're desiring to shine in. If you if you feel like you haven't, you're still trying to you know to find your way in terms of what you you want to shine in. This could be a time to become more learned in that um, at this time. And Mercury is also about analysis, and you may be trying to analyze to things that are associated with your basic wants and and how are you going to go about. Uh, getting them and 
again, like in my case, the natal sun being the zodiac sun, Cancer, and the natal we basic ones basically are connected, you know, with the home, family. I don't really have much of a family, but you know, for most Cancerians, they do want, you know, have some kind of, you know, family. There is still desire for it, whether you have it um, or not. And um, the thing is, to um, the sun in astrology is also associated with the, um, the biological father and children. So this could be a time where the communications with these people can be more propitious. It's more of a positive time to be able you know, to articulate you know, whatever it is you're talking about uh, with these people. Say if the transit Mercury is in Gemini, as an example, it could be you know, talking about doing things like you know, such as with your um, you know, with your hands, the things that require manual dexterity, you know, such as auto refrigeration mechanics. It could be talking about just manifold things in general. It could be trivia as some uh, examples. And the thing about um, this is to you have when this transit does uh, take place, keep in mind that the sun is about you know, domination as well. And let's say, I mean, you have your natal sun in Sagittarius, and you know, you may not be a professional athlete, but if you, it could be a time where you're thinking more, where you have, you know, coming up with ideas, how are you going to dominate? It could be on a, you know, recreational level as a sports athlete, you want to call yourself that. Um, it could be doing something, you know, with publishing. Uh, it might be, you know, with time to, um, you know, when you have this, when you have this transit, I mean, keep in mind the sun is about our action, and it's a good time where you could formulate more of a plan in order to take action on whatever it is you need, um, you need to do. And you know, the thing is, again, you have a good when you have this transit, it's, it's a good relationship between uh, Mercury and the sun, and this is also. I mean, the fact that Mercury is, again, connected with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, it could be more of an opportunity to take action on a situation with these people. If you have one of those people I just described that are, that are in some kind of trouble or plight, this is more of a time to be able to act on, on this at this time, more so uh, than usual. And it's more of a time to formulate the plan to take action in some matter in your life. If you have, going back to Zodiac Sun Cancer, if the natal sun is in Cancer, it could be on a home related matter. Uh, maybe there's something with the laundry machine that needs to be taken care of. Or maybe, um, you know, it's something that just like as an example for, for the Zodiac Sun Cancer, but also the sun is connected with the dominant males and authority. It could even be people in authority. And this is a time where those communications with these people may be more auspicious than they ordinarily are. And if you're trying, like say, if you're trying to get time off, say if you're in a, a position at your job where you're in a, in a subordinate or subservient role and you need to talk and communicate with an authority figure about getting some time off, or could you, um, you know, leave you know, slightly earlier one day I mean, it doesn't guarantee you'll be able to do that, but it will be a time where it would be more auspicious for that, more so uh, than usual. And they may be, these people may be more apt to agree with ideas you might have if, it's a, if you're trying to find, you know, say if the, you know, the transit Mercury is in Capricorn, maybe there's some kind of business solutions you're coming up with, and these people may be more apt to listen to you more so than usual. Now. Another thing too is that our the sun is also connected with drive and motivation. So communicating your thoughts, you you may be more driven to at this time more so than usual. To add mental stimulation or just assimilating information, I should say, may be more of a driving force at this time, and it could be very positive uh, for that at this uh, at this time and understanding. Um, and trying to understand what drives and motivates you as well as this time is a better if you if you really didn't really understand or what it was what you're trying to figure out what's going to drive and motivate you this is the time 
we are more apt to understand that at this time as well. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, another thing is that the sun is about our life, and this could be more of an opportunity to integrate uh, siblings, cousins, and neighbors into your life at this uh, point in time. If they've been d distant or detached from you for some time, this might may be a good time or period to be able uh, to do that. If you have your natal sun in Pisces, it could be a life where you're just, you might be very isolated. You, know, you feel maybe alone or you're, you're doing, um, you're kind of, you might be in your own fantasy world, but maybe you can let the, these people into it more at this time, more so than usual. The transit doesn't last very long, but it is a time, it's more of an opportunity to do this, though. And the uh, sun is also about our conscious, what's, what's conscious, what we, what we are cognizant of. And this is a time to understand these things better at this time more so than you ordinarily would, but you are, you know, the, the conscious side, your basic character, um, in what you become, you know, think, things that, that you're just conscious, it could be, I would say, even things that you're just conscious of in, you know, with whatever it might be in your life. You know, the natal um, sun and cancer could be very well aware and cognizant of the subtle ways people may communicate as an example and it could be a time in that example where there would be more of an understanding and more more awareness of this I would say more so than usual um, now another way this transit may manifest it could be where there's positive communication which is Mercury's communication about your basic character which is the Sun now let's say if the natal Sun is in Leo as an example it could be a basic character it's very dignified magnanimous extroverted uh, will grant favors without hesitation or procrastination now another thing too it could also be an auspicious time to learn which is Mercury about getting what you want which is the Sun in life and life is also connected with the Sun if the sun is in Taurus, as an example, those things that you want in life could be money, possessions, your peace, you know, basically financial stability. And um, now also, too, it could also be a time where siblings, cousins, and neighbors, which is Mercury, may be more in favor of what you are focusing, which is the sun on. If the sun is in Scorpio, as an example, it could be... Um, investigation, psychology, recycling, as some examples. Uh, short journeys, which is Mercury, may have more, something you might have more motivation for at this time. And uh, the Sun, Mercury is short journeys, the Sun is connected with our motivation. So, uh, for example, if Mercury is in Sagittarius, trans of Mercury in Sag, it could be. Um, Short journey, it could be short journeys that are associated with sporting sports, uh, religion, adventure, exploration, as some examples. It might also be a time where you have good news, and news is Mercury regarding the physical body, which has a connection with the sun. If the sun is in Scorpio, as an example, it could be some issue with the colon, the prostate, the bladder, or the reproductive system. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube Astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner, and stay well.